What's going on guys? Welcome back to the garage. We are here with the Z06 and we are diving back into the oil pan where we left off the last video. We found the uh, exposed Healy coil coming out of the uh, drain bolt hole here. So we're going to repair that. And hopefully that is the last thing we got to do on the car before we start putting everything back together. So today we are hoping to start reassembly. So we'll go ahead and get some uh, tunes on with the laptop and uh, dive into this thing. All right, well, I haven't uh, pulled out one of these Healy coils before, but we got fortunate enough that there was a bit of the thread kind of exposed. So I was able to lock on with a pair of uh, vice grips and just uh, pull it right out of the hole. So that worked out pretty good. And my buddy's on his way with the new Healy coil set and I think it should come with the tap so we can kind of retrace that hole, make sure that's all good. Put a little Loctite on it and then we'll uh, insert it. Hopefully be good to go. Here's the uh, kit we got comes with the tap for it which we just ran through just to clean up uh, any shavings or anything left behind the insert tool there's the coil we're gonna put a little uh, blue loctite on it and uh, thread it in hopefully this won't come out again and the new Healy coil is in we got the plug in we'll put some thread locker on the Healy coil to seat it into the pan housing and so hopefully that'll be good to go put a new gasket and then slip the pan in start putting this thing back together. Getting the cam lubed up with some assembly lube. And we're gonna get that in with the timing chain, the oil pump, and then kind of mate the pan up to that so it seats properly. Everyone loves a good cam lube. And we already Rolled the engine over. We got a timing mark at 12 o'clock. So number one cylinder is TDC firing. We're gonna dump that in there. What we did. Oh, there we go. That'll fit. Yep, it's nice and smooth. Give it a little, little spin as she goes in. Yep, nice. Yeah, you can add, add a little extra there as we probably some came off on your hands. Yeah. Nice. That stuff is sticky. It is. There you go. Nice. It's officially a B3 car now. There's officially an RPM B3 cam inside.
here. We got the tensioner in, torqued. This is torqued. Uh, we're just going to spin the engine over a couple times and make sure the marks realign themselves after turning it, and then we know we're we're on accurate. snapping forward to where the pump's actually on. That thing just fought with us for about 20 minutes trying to get those splines aligned. We ended up having to pull the engine up off the mounts to create a good amount of gap here to, just to make sure we didn't nick the oil pan and then we'll get it aligned. All right, here's the update. We weren't able to film a lot of the uh, underside stuff, putting it together just required a lot of tedious fingers. We got the oil pan on, um, the oil pump on, Everything kind of tightened up, buttoned up together. The cradle is back up. All the suspension components are tightened up. And I think that's that's about where we left off with everything. We're gonna put the timing cover on and now, get it aligned properly with the tool, and then we're probably gonna button it up for tonight and then get back on it um, tomorrow morning. So that's pretty much where we're at. Let's uh, go ahead and get this timing cover going. And this is the alignment tool to center the timing cover over the crank snout. So when the harmonic balancer goes on, it's centered on the oil seal. And you don't have the, the oil seal drip or anything. This is a pretty critical step. Definitely a tool you need. Can't do these assemblies without. And here's the alignment tool put in we're under the car right here it's up in the air um, but it's seated to help center the cover we're just gonna get the bolts all tightened up and then that will be good to go when we go to press the harmonic balancer on run through uh, from a roll though because I don't think traction is either of our friends no well, hopefully I'll have some uh, I'll have some wheels by then Oh, that one's hiding under that uh, yeah. tensioner there. We'll have to... Uh, I don't even think I can... Do we even snake a... Might fit. I tried to try again, and I was like almost on it. Uh, I think the tensioner like spring snaps it in front of the cover there. Yeah. We'll have to get it. It's the next day, it's Saturday now. Uh, we wrapped up last night, Friday night. 
Um, next project is going to be getting the ATI damper on. Um, we got the ARP bolt. Um, so we're going to dress this out, get this prepped up, um, get that installed. After that, we'll move on to putting the steering rack. And then uh, I don't want to say we're kind of in the home stretch, but uh, radiator, water pump, all the kind of uh, accessory dressing stuff will be going on next. So let's dive into it. All right guys, we're wrapped up for today with the car. We got the hood on, everything dressed up inside. Dampeners on, water pump, rack, radiator assembly, lifters are in their trays. Um, basically everything we can do aside from waiting on uh, to drop the heads on the car. So that's pretty much where we're left off with it. And we'll update you when we get some more parts.